and you let it fall every single time. Five, we need four, to, um, three, two, one. gather our thoughts. I don't have anything. Anything? No, nothing. I've got some criticism on our podcast. Is it and the I, thing I read as well? No. Okay. That's that's about my TFT gameplay. Yeah, just some one of your guild members just messed. This is from my guild member though. He's. Cr- oh, it's about me. That's why you're. Excited. No, no, no. <laughs> why would I? Hey, you're my partner, bro. If you get, if you, you wouldn't get, be smiling like that if it was about you. I, I always smile. This is just my normal smile. This is just okay. What's well? What's he had some criticism, criticism about, about the me? about the podcast. Okay, just say it's about me, bro. You're my partner. If it's about you, it's also about me. Okay. Okay. So yeah. okay, we're what in is this the together. Criticism that he has for me. He says, uh, "If you say my name first, I'm gonna be a fucking mad." I'm just gonna let you know. He says, "I." He goes, "I have some criticism on it." I go, "Okay." I immediately I go, "Choose wisely," because mm-hmm. I will leave the guild. Yeah. I immediately start with that, and he goes. Well, it's not about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. And then I go, please, yep. <laughs> lay it on. All right. And, and then he goes, no, like, don't, like, bring it up to him. And I was like. <laughs> hey, just don't tell him this thing. And I was like, for sure, I won't. It's okay. no problem. Sure. I will never bring this up to him. All right. Is this going to take my mood for the rest of the podcast? Probably. Okay. Yeah, because it, it goes into you hard, and it's like, he dives into your psyche, which is crazy right, how he your... knew how much, like he knew so much about you. He said, uh, your buddy just has like a monotonistic, uh, voice, which that's a word that I can't even use. And I don't even think that's the right word. Okay. I think it's monoton, something like that, that, uh, if, if he's not paying attention to the podcast and looking at you, yeah, he thinks that you're serious. Yeah. Okay. Which, which I get is. But then he said, and then it just makes me sleepy. Okay. And then on top of it, he goes, and like, does he ever take care of himself? <laughs> like, you added that part. No, I didn't. You added that part. I did not add yes, that part. A hundred percent. What the fuck does that mean? Does he ever take care of himself? <laughs> well, you added that part. No, because yes, you did. they make fun of bald people a lot in that guild. Okay. And he was like, like. He could just shave it clean and it'd look fine. Mm, okay. And I go, yeah, I don't know. He just kind of like doesn't care anymore. Mm-hmm. And I go, and I was like, you know, ever since he got a girlfriend, he just like lets himself go. Like mm-hmm. he's getting chubbier too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then he goes, I can tell. I looked at like the thumbnails, and he was like, he is, he is looking chubbier. Yeah, that's yeah. not true. And he goes, and I was like, now give me some criticism. And he said, you're looking too fit. Oh, <laughs> he, he, told, he told me that he said mm-hmm. lately you're looking far too athletic which i get <clears throat> i get because like when i'm sitting in this chair and especially when i square up with you bro it looks like i'm about to jump like 40 inches can i give him criticism now yeah 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 well that guy's a fucking idiot <laughs> he's stupid he doesn't know what he's talking about um no all no he's is very smart no, apparently not no he's one of the smartest people i know and he's my best friend Oh, well, doesn't sound that smart. He, hey, I also don't want you to talk about my bestie like that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to change my voice. <laughs> you should. If they can't tell that I'm joking, that's on them. No, you should work on if, changing the voice. If they're going to fall asleep. You know what I did? was at one Maybe that's what we're trying to do. Maybe, maybe this podcast isn't to entertain. It's to put people to sleep. Maybe. and Which, which is what I do. That's what I use my uh, podcast. What, what are they screaming at upstairs? I don't know. Um. Anyways... And the shave in the head, I heard it before. Get over it. Next. Um, and that could just be you. That part, I'm pretty sure you just No, that was him. 100%. Yeah. I'm pretty, does he just let himself go? Yeah. Or does he take care of himself? No, it was... Does that guy just, like, ever take care of himself? I think that it also looks like you don't bathe. I don't know if that's just, mm. like, the lighting or whatever. Yeah. But, like, yeah, he goes... He was just talking about how fit I am. But also, I don't want you shitting on him because that's my best friend. So, mm. I don't need you, like... Well, we put it right in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So... If yeah. he listens, he'll hear. Uh, but yeah, no. Is he a cool guy otherwise? Oh, he's always a great guy. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> um, also, uh, fuck, what was I? Literally, every time that I was going to say something, you just kept on saying some shit to me. And now I can't think you of mean it. Oh, you're, you're, oh, your voice. What about no, it? How we can change it. Because There's I, nothing I'm going to change. No, because no, I used to sound like a bitch like you. With all due respect, I used to sound like a bitch like you. Like when I talked and stuff. And monotone, but then what I did is I started screaming mm-hmm. like a lot to like strengthen my vocal cords. Yeah, it's the same thing that I did with my kidneys before I started drinking heavily, like around thirteen. So I'd like punch myself in the st- kidneys all the time just to strengthen. He them didn't up. have any criticism for you. He was like, "You're just perfect through and through." 
No, his criticism was that you look too fit. Yes. Okay. What's anything else? Like he was like, this one I didn't want to bring up because it, it actually made me self conscious. Okay. He said, you take up too much of the camera, mm-hmm. but not in like a bad way. Like your biceps are far too big. Yeah. Like he said, uh, you need like a wide angle mm-hmm. lens solely to keep like your biceps and triceps fully in the shot at all times, which I was like, hey man, like dude. W- Call me fit or whatever, which I yeah, don't. I, I don't want you, you to do that. Mm-hmm. But like something that I can't change is my big shoulders, my broad like, shoulders, my very big arms. Did he also say like I don't want to alarm you, and this shouldn't get you guys flagged, but I think I can just see the tip of your penis because of how large it is. <laughs> it's just like it's usually in the shot. Did he say something like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to bring that up. I didn't <laughs> okay. because I just don't want my eyes are up here, my mm. biceps are over here, and my the, sh- my traps and the tips are of like your penis is just <laughs> and, and my cock. It's just barely just, getting in the shot and it's not my fault. It's I, not flagable either. I think yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing pants every single time. It's just I got such a large mass of cock. And yeah, he did say that. That one was like written out to me because he was like, "Hey, I don't want to say this in front of like all oh, the okay. other guildmates because like I know that you might be like self conscious about this legitimately, mm-hmm. but your cock is far too large." Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Honestly, he said you might he need said, medical work to get it. He said all to these be smaller. Yeah, he said all these things. Yeah, that, I mean that sounds right. Hopefully, this can take us to the end of the podcast because I literally have nothing else to talk you about. You had nothing happen to you this week. You didn't no, even... I did see the guy again uh, who gave me the up. Well, I ran into him again. <laughs> yeah. This time, I decided to not look him in the eyes and just like <laughs> let him do his thing. You know what you should have done? But he was just as frantic as before. <laughs> really? I mean, he was really just on a mission, and I, the, because of how quickly it happened before, I couldn't really recognize the discernible things that he was wearing. He yes. always carries a blue Adidas duffel bag. Yes. He always has that on hand. Okay. And I don't, How large is this? Duffel. It's like a big duffel. It looks like it can, it can hold like a militia hey, of guns. <laughs> that's literally what I was going to ask. Yeah. Is can an AK-47? Not, not just one. Many. <laughs> many? Yeah. Like it's big enough to carry like a whole bunch of weaponry to oh, take down a Walmart. Really? I mean, it really looks like he's planning something. Maybe that's, stay away from that. I. That's why I didn't what, look him down anymore. What if this guy comes up to you and goes, hey, man, you're kind of cool. Stay away from Walmart. Uh, <laughs> hey, some of you guys are cool here. If stay away from the uh, the Walmart areas, yeah, stay away from the Walmart downtown. That is like such a any. I don't know if anybody doesn't know that meme. That's a four chan meme, but right? I mean, four chan is known for many great things and also not great things. Yes, and this is one of the greater things where <laughs> very terrible, where, tragic um, thing. This man, I think maybe young kid. High school level kid. Oh, I have actually a couple things. He, um, he was like, "Hey, you know, some of you guys are cool in here." Speaking about four chain, yeah. Um, stay away from like the Columbus, Ohio area. Like, if you're in, he like specifically said like a, like a zip code area. And yeah. I was like, Shh, stay away from there. And then the next day, he just shot up like a school or something, or like a wall, or a Walmart or something crazy. It was. It's so insane to me, right? That like. How did shit run rampant on there? Like, like there was like bodies posted, and like they'd be like, "Oh, yeah, that's fake, you pussy." Yeah. Like time stamp time it, stamp it. And, and then, then they'd write on their arm, next right to the next bodies. to the body. Yeah, and it's like, "Hey, FBI, CIA, you guys want to?" Yeah, look yeah into I don't this? know how that website became that because it was yeah. just like an image board of posting random stuff. Yeah, it's complete uh, autonomy. Lots so, of traps, right? So. Yeah, I mean, lots of are those like chicks with dicks. Yeah, yeah, lots of those. Yeah. Um, and then eventually, you know, when you just have complete auto- autonomy, and it's like a you post for like, hey, you learn a new word or something. Autonomy, autonomy. You gonna use that in every? No, sentence? it's just like when I say a word that's not in your brain, it sticks out to you. No, it's just that you said it four times. I said it twice. <laughs> you said it four times. Definitely twice. Go back and count it. What word did you say? You, what do you Wait, say what word did you say again? Huh? I'm not saying it. It's twice. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Then so you just what's get, on 4chan? When it's like random stuff, you know, people go like, oh, I can post anything. Here's me coming at a baby. Or here's like dead. That was a thing too, right? That was the first. I went on 4chan for the first time as a child. I was 13. I was like, let's check it out. That's the first thing I saw. Just, that's insane. It's crazy. There was like a cum box on there too, right? No, that's Reddit. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you, it's fine. Yeah, it's not as bad. Uh, Back to like the uh, some of you guys are cool here. Stay away from the this area. The jokes after the fact were great. One of the best ones where it was a picture yes. of Darth Vader, yes. and he's like, "Hey, some of you guys are cool here. Stay away from the Alderaan. Uh, <laughs> Stay away from the Alderaan uh, planet. Alderaan, what is it? Sector? Yeah, yeah I don't know. Something but it, like that. God, that, I mean, that was great. That one got me, yeah. Because, like, the whole planet in Alderaan was destroyed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Thank you. The next day. Thank you. <laughs> you know what You know what the funny part about that is, you explaining that? What? Is that if they didn't get it, mm-hmm. you saying the Alderaan planet getting destroyed, that doesn't help them By at all. By the Death Star. But that doesn't help. Like, whoever doesn't get that just isn't going to get it. Because Alderaan means nothing to them. Well, I just helped out <laughs> the people who didn't get it. Uh, which also, like, you know, there's people, there's a small mar- majority, minority of people, Jesus, there's a small minority of people out there that just won't watch Star you Wars. You have a new word, minority, you're just going to keep using <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, you said it twice now? I mean, four times? I learned that word two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, don't watch Star Wars? Yes. Yeah. That's nuts. That Like, imagine going your entire life and just never watching Star Wars. No, that's the old Bill Burr thing, where he... Just missed Star Wars the summer it came out. So then he came back to school and everybody was talking about Star Wars and he just never caught it. Yeah. And so like then huge franchise Star Wars and he was, he just like, at that point he's like, I'm not watching it and I'm going to make fun of it and the people who watch it. And now he's like within the Star Wars universe. Yeah, he no. did it because he thought it was funny. And was very good in it too. Yeah. And the epi- his episode that he was in, I think that was, was one of my favorites. I think it was the best episode yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, it was very good, that prison break and shit. Because John Favreau approached him. He, like, is the showrunner for that mm-hmm. show. And he's like, you should be in Star Wars. And Bill is like, I don't, I mean, I've been kind of making fun of Star Wars my entire <laughs> life. That's kind of my thing. And John Favreau was like, yeah, I know. That's why That's why it'd be funny. That's why I want you in it. John and Favreau's. His, and then his wife was like. So sick. Be in, you're going to take it. That's yeah. not, like, a question. And it was so big. Yeah. Like, that, that show was, it was a good show. Yeah, John Favreau has just been. I mean, I was watching The Sopranos. He's in The Sopranos. Is he? Yeah, he's just in. I've like, never seen The Sopranos. There's an episode. What's that about? Uh, nothing. A pizza joint? It's a pizza joint. <laughs> bada bing. Bada bing pizza. <laughs> hey, hey, give me a pizzeria. <laughs> there's an entire episode that has John Favreau, and it talks about him being a director, and it's like an episode dedicated to him. Really? Because he has this movie, Swingers. I've never seen it. Neither have I. With uh, Vince. Uh, Vince Vaughn. Correct. Yeah. Nailed it. Um, and that was like a don't, huge. Movie. I don't know why I knew that. <laughs> I don't know either. Is Owen Wilson in that? No, no. That's I don't think what so. Crashers. I need that is what Crashers. <laughs> and that movie became big. So that was wedding like Crashers a, or Swingers. Both. And <laughs> Wedding Crashers was a storyline in uh, Sopranos. Correct. Really? No, it's Swingers. But you know what I mean. <laughs> really. And then like that guy goes on to helm Iron Man and kind of just like rejigger the franchise. I hate that word. That's it nice. makes me feel so bad. Like, Jigger. I also just so like you brought it. Did, did you talk about that on the f- podcast? Or yeah. Did we, yeah. I talked about it because uh, Pretty Boy Re- and Tommy I said Boy. Re-jog. What's his name? Uh, and Tommy Boy, handsome, good-looking guy. He's also in Parks and Rec. He's David in, Spade. No, close. <laughs> very close. He's on the Joe Rogan podcast recently. He they, they oh, roasted him. Uh, Rob Lowe. Correct. Rob Lowe said Wait, it. Wait, I am on a roll. I am not the guy that's supposed I to know, remember. I know, you don't know these people's names. Like, literally, I can't even get, like, famous, like, Luke, I, I'm, I had sex with your mother. I'm your dad. <laughs> yeah, I am your dad. Um, yeah. yeah, I know. That's two for two for you. Yeah, that's like three, I think. Or four. <laughs> <laughs> it could be four. It's four. Count yeah, it. let's count back, go back count to the it. back and count it. Count it. Um, we actually don't have time to edit anything today, so yeah. all these cuts are not happening. I mean, we do, because that, I won't get into it. We'll talk about our plans later. Yeah. We don't need to share that with everybody else. I, I don't want to dox myself, you know? Okay. Um, but yeah, John Fat. what else has he done? He's done- Lion King? Really? Um, not th- the original. I feel like if you no, the, <laughs> he did the original, the, li- you I say live action, but it's a completely CGI. Yeah, movie. it's just CGI. It's like that's yeah. so stupid. They call it the live action Lion King. That movie was garbage. He also did uh, the Jungle Book live action. Like it was cool that it had like Childish Gambino in it. Mm-hmm. That's it. And Beyonce. No, Seth Rogen. I don't care if Beyonce is in it. John Oliver. You know what? I'd actually prefer if Beyonce wasn't. Eric Andre's in the movie. Eric Andre's good too. 
Seth Rogen. I've never seen that. Every the, the only thing is, I just don't care that Beyonce's in it. <laughs> I like actually I like everybody but Beyonce <laughs> because I think that Beyonce is the worst artist of all time. Okay, she sucks. No, I'll say she, crazy things too. She, no, she's hot garbage. Like actually, like that that woman will just drop an album. I mean, you put a ring on it. I mean, like yeah, 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 that's a hit. It's so annoying. Destiny's Child. I is like that the name of them. You know what? Good? If if I was forced to mm-hmm. fucking if I had two options, yeah, listen to like all of Beyonce's discography. That's the word. Discography. You got it. Yeah. Or stub my toe like 20 times in a day. Mm-hmm. I'm stubbing my toe. I'm, I'm literally going to get my toe amputated. If I had to hear you use that analogy or stub my toe a million times in a row, I would <laughs> stub my toe a million times in a yeah. row. Yeah. Uh, figure out a different or this thing. Okay. I'd rather eat hot soup 20 times That's and good. not blow on it. Yeah, I like that. And burn my fucking mouth. That's better. I'll eat a fucking Hot Pocket. Yeah, I'll just listen <laughs> to the... I'll literally just eat a Hot Pocket, which is garbage. Hot Pockets fucking suck. And I, I don't when like I it started, because you, pro- you I don't like, like I don't like Hot Pockets. Really? I dislike them. But you, you were probably the person that every single time you didn't wait for those bitches to cool off. And no. You just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how you eat, too, when you fucking... It's really a... <laughs> um... I when I started getting groceries for myself, you know, I saw hot pockets and I said, "I'll, you know, I've never had really a hot pocket that I made for myself. I'll get it and try it out." Yeah. They're fucking terrible. They're garbage. They're not good. The you know what the issue is? I love everything that's pizza flavored. Like I'm a ch- like what I'm eating. Like my whole like food dietary consists of uh, chicken nuggies, yep. glizzies, yep. and like anything pizza flavored. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like that's all I am eating. That's your favorite Pringles. It's the pizza. The flavor. glizzies, yeah, no. <laughs> the glizzy flavored Pringles. That would. I feel like that's a gross. <laughs> it's flavor. so delicious. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about it the other day. Taco Bell should come out with a glizzy burrito. <laughs> just throw a glizzy right in yeah, the middle they just of that, call that fucking a hot dog, right? <laughs> well, no, you throw like some rice and shit around it. Why do people like um, hot dogs as much as they do? They're oh, so good. Speaking of uh, hot dogs, so today we are going over to a friend's birthday party. Wait, is it a party? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. And um, the uh, the owner of the house that we're going to mm-hmm. is uh, lately has been loving your hot dog obs- obsession. <laughs> he, because we brought Nathan hot dogs to a get together and he was like, Nathan hot dogs. I just saw a review that that was number two on the all time hot dogs before. It was during 4th of July. Yes. So like he, he like saw it during then. Yeah. So since then. Whenever he knows you're coming, he gets Nathan hot dogs, and he's, like, jacked. I love it. I, Yesterday, I talked to them, and, and um, our friend Beth, who, that's his, her dad, mm-hmm. she was like, Raz is so excited for James. He got the Nathan hot dogs. He is ready to go. <laughs> it's so funny, right? Because, like, it wasn't even an obsession. It's just that, like, if I know that there's going to be grilling, I know that people, they're going, like, overvalue uh, burgers, which I don't think it's overvaluing. I shouldn't say it like that because I also enjoy burgers, but I prefer hot dogs and mm-hmm. I always have preferred hot dogs. But when I go to a party and if you're going to offer me like Oscar Mayer hot dogs, like you're going to grill some Oscar Mayer, how about you just slap me in the fucking face? It is, like spit on your fucking hand and slap me in the fucking face. It's a face weird thing to do. It's a bitch move. It's literally such yeah, a bitch. You might as well put cheddar in those while you're at it. They're That's fucking, I know, I fucking it sucks. Yeah, they're garbage. I don't like it. Like legitimately... If Anybody who likes Oscar Mayer, Mayer hot dogs with cheddar in them, fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> literally, but I'm not kidding you. If you invite me to your house and you you're going, you say, "Hey, we're having a grill out." Mm-hmm. You you get a bunch of burgers. Yeah, I'll blow you- my fucking brains out. <laughs> On your lap? No. <laughs> That's not what you're going to do? I'm going to castrate them. Oh, okay. Literally going to fucking cut their dick off, and I'm going to grill that. I'm going to say, uh, you made me do this. <laughs> Blow my brains out. I'm going to go, hey, what would you rather eat? Your own cock mm-hmm. or this Oscar Mayer? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, you're going to eat your cock. Yeah, because you're, it's disgusting. It's way better. I, my brains will all be already be blown out, <laughs> but at least you get to do that thing to them. Because, <laughs> holy We're shit. We're here to castrate you. I'm here to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Two really different <laughs> genders. <laughs> it was it was a murder castration suicide mission. So there was like two they're people. Doing the, they're, they're doing the police report. <laughs> there's there's two people involved. No, three. <laughs> the guy that killed us <laughs> had nothing to do with it. <laughs> and the so murder was a just home left. invasion, and one of the guys killed themselves. <laughs> yeah, he said you made me do this. 
<laughs> All we had was Oscar Mayer cheddar hot dogs. I don't really get was, it. Was it a home invasion? No, they inv- they invited them over <laughs> and had the nerve to offer them Oscar Mayer hot dogs. God, and you know what the worst part is? Oscar Mayer is so big. Like, how do they? Yeah, have, it's not like, nearly as big as Nathan. I mean, sorry, other way around. Nathan is not nearly as big as them. Nathan's are decently big now because they they're like the standard for that's what the like hot dog eating right, contest is. The Nathan's hot dog eating yeah. because they're the best hot dogs. Yes, I, they're well, they're definitely not one based of us. on that list. What was the number one? The Hebrew hot dogs? Yeah, the Hebrew hot dogs. The Hebrew uh, lizards. I feel like you should say it with an H. <laughs> they they were they're pretty good. I tried them. They're not bad. Are they better I, than Nathan's? They're like comparable because Raz, the father, he mm-hmm. brought he, bought, he brought, got them just to do a taste. If I test. if I remember correctly, uh, the Hebrew hot dogs were a bit sweeter. Uh, the Nathan's hot dogs were a bit meatier and juice. They were both really juicy though, which is which is what I look for. And I also don't want that skin around my fucking hot dog. Like I like my glizzies boneless. You know what I mean? The skin around hot dogs made me think of um, circumcision. Yeah, and <laughs> I just read a tweet that I thought was interesting. Is that Deadpool and Wolverine are most likely not circumcised. Oh, because their skin grows. Back. Yeah, you see, <laughs> took you a little second to get it. Yeah, well, I was like, I mean, but also, like, at that point, I'm cutting off, my, like, every time that I have sex, I'm just going to cut my foreskin off. Because I'm not going to look like a little fucking anteater, like. So, let's think about my shit's not having Wolverine, right? Mm-hmm. He, if we're basing it strictly on the movies, right? Mm-hmm. Because we don't really read the comics like that. I do. So I don't know when he was born within the comics, but within the movies, he would have been born in the 1800s, right? He was born during like the Civil War. Do you yep. remember that Wolverine origin movie? Yep. And like he gets his powers, the bone clothes, him and, and saber tooth. Yeah. So he probably wouldn't have been circumcised, right? Yeah, in general. Yeah. In general. <clears throat> so he definitely has the foreskin. Yeah, now, more think, than likely. Think about Deadpool. He gets his powers way later in life. Strictly movies. Yeah. I don't know about the comics. Yeah. So let's say, let's assume he gets circumcised, right? Mm-hmm. Does it grow back as soon as he gets the powers? No, I don't think so. You think he just, so you think he's still circumcised? Yeah, I think that he's still circumcised. Is because, he, because is he I, Jewish? Because then we know for sure he is. He, is Ryan Reynolds Jewish? I don't know. That's a good question, right? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Uh, but no, yeah, he's he's for sure circumcised, I think. I do too. You know that in EU, like in Europe, like nobody's circumcised? That's weird. That's all weird, right? That's what, disgusting. You know what? For a while. Your glizzy gets all fucking gross then. Yeah, but you can clean it. I mean, yeah. I heard there's there's, thing, there's this thing called schmegma. Yeah, that's gross. Which is, uh, I'm sure we've talked about it on this podcast before. <laughs> yeah. Where you start getting like the, these rings around your penis Ugh. and it like, it severely hurts. And a lot of like... um. Young kids get it because they're just not aware. Yeah, and it's like manageable. It's not a pro- if you just know how to clean your penis, it's fine. How often did people get that? Like way back in the day, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like before circumcisions like became yeah, like- people's penises were just falling off. Probably you think? I have no idea. <laughs> well, I am a doctor, so I have to say yes, they were. Yes, oh, that's as a doctor speaking. Um, I think that I got catcalled the other day. No, you didn't. That's what I thought too. That's not true. I'm not even kidding. By a woman? Yeah. That's not true. This I was I was driving my truck, right? Looking mm-hmm. like a total badass. Yeah, I know you. Hand on the fucking wheel. But mm-hmm. I had I had some music playing, mm-hmm. windows down, and these two girls like were staring at me. Yeah. And uh good looking? One yeah, I I couldn't see the other one that great. Uh I don't know which one was like super like interested, but one of them yelled at me. Yeah. Like, "Hey, hey." And like tried getting my attention to like talk to me and like held up her phone so i think that she was trying to get my phone number but i was driving off or maybe she was telling you something was happening on your truck like there was like severe damage no and you were just playing them off like whatever ladies (laughs) whatever no because i've had that happen before but this because it all started i looked over and the girl was like the driver was staring at me she was kind of cute and i i I was already snapchatting and driving as i do yeah i looked over and i like she was like we were making eye contact so i gave her like a little cool head nod. Yeah. And then she got wet. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know that? Yeah, you I know for sure. Yeah, I could I could smell it. As a kid, I don't... I used to... Um, I, my neighborhood is close to fast food places where I grew up. Yes. And I could just... we, Me and my friends would walk to the fast food places all the time. Or As just walk do. around the neighborhood. And being in high school, um, hanging out with girls... We would walk in busy streets. They would always get honked at. 
It was like a constant. Right? Really? All the time. Mm-hmm. There was only one time that it was actually for me where like the honks were going and we were going down Howell. Okay. Right? Honk the horn. I thought that you were a little twink boy and it was a guy. Girl flashed us. This really? is the only day it was like I was couldn't believe it. The only time. I, I've ever had happened. that. I've had that happen before. Uh, you- same neighborhood though. Hold on. Before we go crazy, mm-hmm. same neighborhood. I guess um, my friend, art friend Tyler mm-hmm. Rogney, yeah, was walking down same neighborhood, more in like where you turn into where I live. Yep. He was just driving, and there was just a completely naked man. It was about like eleven a.m. And this guy was like, "God damn it, fuck, fuck," <laughs> as if he was. <laughs> He was upset that he was in this situation. <laughs> and I was like, I got to get out of this situation quickly. Uh, yeah, that was me. Oh, <laughs> that was just me walking down. I, I think about catcalling often, though. Like, catcalling in the... T- People complain about it, but I, I feel like it used to happen far more often. And it's kind of, like, moved away. And instead, we just have Instagram... Yeah, the Me Too movement really has taken away well, everything. Well, we just have Instagram creeps now. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's like really ra- what catcalling is. Like, yeah. rather than catcalling, you just got guys commenting, like, damn, baby, looking so gorgeous here on, like, Instagram photos. I have photos. slid into DMs maybe twice before, and in the hopes of getting, but never really, like... Mm-hmm. I never had said, like, hey, girl, hit me up. It's yeah. usually just me uh, saying, like, hello and talking to them. Yes. And have it's you, usually me. Have you? And it's usually you. Have you ever done it and got like successful? Every single time, yeah. Really? No. I've uh, I've, I def- also, I've definitely slid into DMs. I've only done it twice, I think. I've definitely like you know heart reacted stuff and like shit like that. I've never done that. Doesn't work very often. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And also, like the 21st century kind of got rid of like, uh, what are those guys called? They used to wear trench coats and just like a. Um, I don't know, like my dad, <laughs> your father, <laughs> where they just expose my dad themselves. Used to do that, yeah. <clears throat> what are those guys called? They expose themselves. Um, there used to be a name for that. Uh, streakers. That doesn't sound. No, right. that doesn't sound right. Uh, um, perverts. Is it just <laughs> yeah. perverts? Yeah, but now those guys just send dick pics, like unsolicited dick pics, That's all true. the time, like often. So, I mean, at least we've gotten away from like it I'm happening gonna, in person. I'm going to tell you this before, but uh, I think Natasha Legero would go to her stand-up shows Mm -hmm. and she would ask the audience the girl speaking she was like how many of you cheer if you've seen a man masturbating unsolicited like you weren't asking for it and it's always like an overwhelmingly amount of people like a large amount of yeah they're like woo like (laughs) they're not like happy about it (laughs) how do you cheer unhappily like why Uh, i feel like asking somebody to cheer for that right here sister but like it's like it should be more like here or something like yeah. It it, it shouldn't be a cheer because I don't like, know I don't know what it was, but uh, <laughs> it is it happens still way more commonly than um I think we think. Like people just crank their hog right in front of chicks. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. I've done it a couple times. Really? No, that's dope. Um, do you think your you remember who listens? He hears me say that and he goes, "Oh man, this guy is a freak." Yeah. When I say, "Yeah, I've jerked off in front of a couple." Well, girls. he's not going to get this far. No, of course not. <laughs> Maybe just me talking shit about him in the beginning will make him go like, "What else are they gonna say?" Yeah, maybe. Or they just do the everything what like what we always do nine minutes. And, and um, oh. somebody who watches our podcast are like, "Oh, I'll give it a listen." And I just find out that they're um, listening, so I start talking shit about them, and they go, "Hey, that doesn't feel good." And then never watch again. <laughs> That's happened a couple times. Has it? I feel like it has. Have you talked shit about? I mean, I never talk shit about people, which is kind of a good quality about me. He also yeah, we says, do. I don't. You do. You, okay. talk, you talk a lot of shit, man, which is kind of weird and kind of cringe. Uh, you hear the new YouTube drama. We're on YouTube, and there's some drama oh, going on. I you, wish we could have like a next segment kind of a... You don't want to talk about sound. this at all? No, I don't. No, no, no. As in, like, this is the next segment. Like, <laughs> do, 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 YouTube drama. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Can you can I edit it to say YouTube we drama can't. right here? We can't. We don't have time. Yeah, you have a lot of time. YouTube drama right here. Um... What? We have nothing. Put a YouTube drama. YouTube drama. Like I right, don't know what are the, right what there. is the YouTube drama. Leafy is here. Uh, just got banned on his YouTube accounts. He's been harassing Pokemon. He's literally made like ten videos about I Pokemon. He, I thought he died. Did he? No. In terms of like anybody caring about him, like dad of relevance, like nobody cares. Oh, about this person anymore? People didn't. And then recently, he's just been making like videos about Pokemon. And like nonstop harassing this woman, like 
consistently to the point where like Pokemon's getting a lot of flack from like well his. lately people have not liked Pokemon either because she said anybody who uh, critique her she's gonna just strike that channel um, on site but this was I know I'm just saying th- this is a different Pokemon drama that, that's Leafy Leafy started all that did you that's that's why oh, okay. th- that's why this is happening is Leafy's been like spread it I don't know if he started it but it's been resurfaced it, yeah. it, this is an old thing she's already even gone on to like should we explain what these people it. are these two leafy is here is a youtuber that like just makes like they're quote-unquote comedy videos but it's literally just him harassing people like him just like talking shit about people. yeah he just kind of he's like an online bully he picks somebody <laughs> and just like usually like people that are freaks or just like you know like lesser than him or in, in terms his of eyes. like yeah, yeah in his eyes and then he just um rips them apart to his like weird uh, his fan like, base, his like 12, 13 year old fan base that like has access to. And then Pokemon is the biggest uh, female Twitch streamer. Mm-hmm. And One of that's. Them. She's uh, very well known. She's she's known for having a lot of simp's. So like a lot of people simp for like tier three subs and stuff like okay, that. Okay. Anyways. And uh, so pretty how much. How good? Is, how how vast is your knowledge on this drama? Because I know I know nothing. nothing. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's talk about something we have no idea about. Yeah, and all I know is that he's made. I watched Moist Critical's uh, like take on it. He was oh, like, okay. he pretty much just goes on to, like to say, "Why would I talk about this?" She already has apologized for like her striking like Fanasco thing or whatever, Fanasco. I don't know what that is. Is this the uh, the, the striking thing the, that you brought up? So Pokemon. Um, this was a long that striking thing that like you know about. I guess I don't, was a, it's not I guess that I was know. a while ago. It's not that I know about it. This is just the this is from two people who don't know anything. Us yes. talking very uh, boldly about a lot of information we don't know. Well, I know about it through a whole critical. bunch. A whole bunch of drama happened on Pokemon where people are mad. I think she was strike. She struck who? She somebody's channel. Nobody, uh, nobody that we know's channel. It's just like people using her shit. We're, we're critiquing here, and she claimed it as like they're using her content mm-hmm. not fair use. And I guess these people were using it fair use. Yeah, and and then she she went on to a, this that instance. Yeah, happened a long time ago. Yeah, and then she also like, and it's been apologized. She was also apologizing because for like her sim culture for these people who just people think she's like abusing. This is one of what thing I don't agree with. People think she's abusing these people who are simp. Simp is such a good word for it. Yeah. Where it's getting overused now, and I but don't it like is. It. But it is a good word for this. Yeah. Where there, there's these men who have no like. There's no. They're not going to meet her. Yeah. They're not going to like, and they're not going to be her friend, and they're not going to have like an interaction with her the way they feel like they are, and they just pay her so, huge sums of money. Just yeah. for the chance of her to give them attention through online space. To give, like, a shout-out, pretty much. And people think that she somehow is abusing this power over these guys, but it's, like... It's literally just her streaming. I don't she's know, making, I like, don't know she, what she's supposed to do. Like... She's not, like, telling these people to, like... Yeah. I don't know, do any... She's just streaming. It's not like I watch Pokemon, <clears throat> like, a large yeah. amount. But, like, it's... I don't know. It. The issue with... uh, I don't know. Here's my take on it, and this might be me white knighting, okay. but I don't think that the issue, a lot of people have issues with, like, girls on, like, in the gaming community and on streaming, but a lot of the issues don't lie with the women themselves. There are some women that are out there. I agree there, with you. You are white knighting, I know. <laughs> there are some women out there that take advantage and, like, show, like, large amounts of tits and do stuff, like, solely just for attention, and their clout cha- there's, like, clout chasers out there but the issue really lies in these like incels that really haven't had a whole lot of like social interactions with women in their entire life so therefore they like get those thoughts in their mind where they're like oh if i donate to her i'm going to get this sent like this girl is going give me a shout out maybe this will spark like a friendship or relationship yeah. between me and her and it's like this is what genuinely goes through their mind because they don't have like the same social concepts mm-hmm. that like other men do that have like normal conversations with women often. So it's like, yeah, I don't think that the issue really lies with these women and like people like Leafy's fans will immediately go to point the finger so, at like Pokemon. Pokemon. But in reality, it's like the guys. So this is what sense. the Pokemon drama was, at least that I've heard before the Leafy stuff. 
What has happened with Leafy? Uh, pretty much just his bullying, like his. So he's making videos about his her? consistent harassment and bullying of it. Here, I'll. I'll Is he go- making videos about these topics that we're talking about? Uh, it's no, it's more or less like him just shitting on Pokemon, like about the content she makes, or like what? here's a quote, something. Uh, Ethan Klein posted a tweet and said, uh, "Leafy had the best commentary with a sad face," and uh, somebody commented on one of Leafy's posts about uh, Pokemon, and somebody said, uh, "Someone needs to kill Pokemon," and he replied to it. This comment yeah, that like Leafy should did? just be like either blocked or like ignored. Anything like you're mm-hmm. you're an influencer you should just ignore that shit. And uh, he commented saying HDR recon scope. Oh, so he's saying so he's just adding to it. Like definitely somebody should kill them. Yes, kill her. And like why? Why do people not? He's like- made not he, like put it this way. He's made nine videos criticizing Pokemon in the last like. I don't get what's the. Have you watched any of the criticism? No, videos? Okay. I've watched. I've watched criticals. You watched. All right. Well, let's let's go back to our pleasure. And and also, Critical's video was pretty much him saying, "Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it because like Leafy just keeps on making videos about it." And I mean, Leafy's clearly just doing it because it's giving him a lot of views, and he's pandering to the. All right. Audience. So I guess I shouldn't watch them. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Okay. Uh, ha- I guess in half of them, he even goes, "Yeah, I'm just making this for views." Oh, <laughs> like, does he? Like he even outright says it. Well, I mean, when your um, I guess when your whole identity is just somebody who has is on the fringe of the internet at this point. I mean, who likes this person? Who still watches this content and really... Literally don't know. Like, I thought that he was just, like, gone off the internet after the, like, content cop. Yeah, on him? Yeah, literally, like, Idubs just destroyed destroyed him. Like, there was no reason it for... Is str- it is strange. Idubs, I feel around. like... Idubs and his whole persona and, like, sound bites or... Th- he impacts internet culture still so much. Mm-hmm. And I don't really... But he's a simp. He is a simp. <laughs> I don't know how that... He doesn't even really make, like, videos that are, hit, like, huge anymore. Because mm-hmm. he stopped kind of doing content cops. He does, though. His documentaries get pretty big. The uh, Airsoft Fatty was pretty big. Yeah. And the I guess smoothie, when... The smoothie ones... Did that get a hit? I've, I've heard about it from other people. Have like, you? Like, not you. As in like, who? The, I forgot who talked to me about it, but... It's they they talked about the Smoothie Madness. I was like, that was the most insane game show I've ever but watched. I, he, his sound bites of him saying like, hey, that's pretty good. Like, I hear yeah. that all the time. Or like him yeah. him calling people like, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to like say the quote wrong because it's just him like saying fag. Yeah. And like, I don't... I yeah I don't know. What here's it the is. thing we we shouldn't quote Idubs. Yeah, ever, that's fine because we don't have like if we want to get canceled, we'd quote Idubs because. But essentially, him just saying a lot of slurs. <clears throat> well, people just put it in their shit, and it's yes. fine because it's Idubs. Yes, it's very weird how he can just he still impacts He's, culture, internet culture, not like not like pop culture because yeah. like I'm talking about specifically internet, and it's just from like essentially content cops being so big. Yeah, I mean, his documentaries, I think that he makes, like, the the style of video that he's gone to now. Like, the smoothie video, I actually really, really liked. He also <laughs> did the tier list thing. Yeah, he, he started the tier list. It's, it's not the tier list weren't... Um, a thing, but he, like... But he did yeah. it where, where everybody was tier listing everything now. Well, because he also threw out there, this is the best tier list, nobody else can make a better tier list. And the only one that he respected was... was Review uh, Bros? Review Bros. On uh, the best fast food. I mean, yes. we got us talking about it for a while. Yeah, I'd, I'd love... And to this day, I still love tier lists. But I also love top 10 videos. Like, I'm a big... <laughs> I'm just, like, the worst kind of person yeah. on YouTube. I watch all this shit that shouldn't get any views. Uh, in that smoothie fucking... You watch that thing? I watch everything, yeah. The Smoothie Madness. Why isn't... Why did nobody in the comments talk about how bad that guy was uh, making smoothies <laughs> which one <laughs> who the dude the dude versus the the, uh, the like fucking, versus the house the house cleaner? cleaning lady yeah. yeah she like she made like an all right smoothie that guy literally made an undrinkable smoothie did he and, yeah i didn't so i guess i listened to it i didn't really watch it i listened to the whole thing he like just what is did, the smoothie he just didn't blend it enough like no? it was just like really thick and like i forgot what the guy's name even is dak shepherd dak shepherd no or the guy <laughs> Dax Shepard. Oh, Dax Flame. Yeah, Dax Flame. He uh, he's going for like the drink. Yeah, and it, it like isn't coming out of the cup. And it's like, okay, disqualify that guy. That guy sucks at making smoothies. 
your smoothie show sucks. Let me be the host. You saw that quote that Bo Burnham has in the show where he's talking about Dax Flame is he, he's like a genius. Yeah, I don't think that he is. I don't think so either. But Bo is talking about him as if he's like the smart. He, as if this persona is like such a ingenious thing. Yeah, it. I don't think that it. It's also Bo Burnham at like nineteen, eighteen. So yeah. it's you know, and he, it was like at the start of YouTube. But people also like compared him to uh, what the fuck's his name? Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman, and it's like look at that. N- no, <laughs> like yeah, I just think he's just. Um, I think that he's just a weird dude and had like. Weird hyperbolizations of his stories. Yeah, and well, that persona that he plays, I think, is just like um, it's just him, but heightened, and that's what people yeah. do. Yeah, it's- because based on that documentary, he seemed like that person. Yeah, he just seemed. Like- and I think <clears throat> you know he kind a little bit. He reminds me of me, not not to the same extent because he's a little bit more um, he's out weird. there. Yeah, but where people will um, interpret his persona as a. Um, as not confident or um, what is introverted? He yes, but he's not like that at all. He's probably he's, he's extroverted and probably confident. Yes, with himself, very. And people take it as to the point where he wrote a book about himself. Yeah, and a whole chapter was about this smoothie. Yeah, <laughs> madness idea. Mm-hmm. Just, just absurd. It's uh, I I find him to be a really extroverted person that people would in, like imply. Is introverted, you know? Well, because I feel like everybody thinks that uh, people that are odd or, like, quirky yeah. are just, in turn, introverted. Like, and scared to be themselves. Yeah. But this guy seems fully realized of but who But I is. feel like, like, you know, people that are out there, they're usually the mo- more extroverted because they're, like, confident to be themselves. They, yeah. They're always themselves. Um, but maybe they... But also, they, a lot of times I run into, like... <laughs> odd people being the cockiest pricks have you ever ran into this yeah like they just think that they're like because they're so weird and like their thoughts are so are you different trying to, you're trying to say that about me about you is that what you're trying to say no no i'm thinking of actually like some kids in high school call them that, up that i remember just their like, names and last names <laughs> no. addresses uh i just remember them like you know talking down to people all the time because as if <laughs> like their thought like they thought that they were a legitimate vampire. And like the <laughs> fact that everybody else didn't think that he was a vampire, you guys <laughs> in turn are just crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like those type of people just end up like being assholes. Yeah. <laughs> like they're, not all of them, but not, yes, some of them. Yes. The ones that thought they were vampires and that you were crazy for not thinking you were <laughs> yeah. vampires. Yeah. Those guys were, <laughs> those guys are assholes. But the ones who thought they were werewolves were pretty cool. Yeah. The werewolves ones were pretty cool. And the they should have got Bella. Was that they just like, you know, really heavily implied, like pedophilia and shit. Yeah, that imprinting shit got weird at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's just very odd. I didn't really see. I didn't understand. What? Like, I got that you, like, theoretically it was romantic, but at the end of the day, you're imprinting on a child. That just sounds gross saying. Dude, I, you know, with everything, like, being a conspiracy lately, I really think that we should open up a conspiracy theory on whoever wrote Twilight because they really I, did. God, I don't know her name. I just fucking... It's a woman, though. Oh, um... Martha Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just, that that entire book, like, eventually just goes, yeah, pedophilia is all right. And, like, that's what the werewolves do. Yeah, and it's okay to not be, like, a confident, strong woman because a guy will eventually save you. Yeah. Which is Edward and Jacob. Yes. That's, like, it's a fucking, it's a weird message. Yeah. It the, really is. The, the show and book are just, like, kind of hot garbage. Yeah, and you should get together. If you're, like, a 16-year-old girl, get together with a 108-year-old or whatever the fuck yeah. it is. It's just weird. It's a weird, yeah, it's a weird story. Yeah. Speaking of Twilight, Robert Pattinson. Mm-hmm. So he Great t- actor. He took those roles, I think, for the money. Mm-hmm. Initially, he thought it was, I think, just, like, this interesting indie thing, and... It became huge, and he did it for all for the money. So he can do now the interesting stuff, yeah. like Lighthouse. You haven't seen. It's great though. Um, good time. You saw yep, Good Time, right? Good Time's really good. Good Time's I good. I love. I love Good Time. And Tenant, which is coming out soon. He's one of my. His character in Good Time is one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna keep ever. saying it. He's gonna be one of the biggest actors that. I mean, he was. It's weird to say because he was. Who's like in a, Lighthouse with him? Fucking Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe. Correct. Green Goblin. Yeah. I uh, did you watch? Uh, you watch. No, he was okay. It wasn't here's my fucking here's my here's my call. So okay. he was already the heartthrob, right? Yep. All the girls loved him. Yes. He's gonna have the fucking Matthew McConaughey renaissance. 
You think? Because well, Matthew McConaughey was a heartthrob, dazed and confused. All the girls loved him. Mm-hmm. And then he does a lot of rom cons and whatever. I mean, he didn't have those. I, I feel like, I don't know, Robert Pattinson does a lot more indie stuff. Right. But I'm saying, he, so Matthew McConaughey, like, big actor. Did a lot of rom coms. People were like, "Eh, what? Like he's a whatever actor." Robert Pattinson did all the Twilights. He's what? Who gives a fuck? And then you start doing the smaller roles. Yeah. And then you get their that Oscar role. I think he's gonna win an Oscar. You think? That's, I'm saying Robert Pattinson's gonna be like. I could see it. He's he's turning it around. He's gonna I, be one of the greats. When I of think that generation. When I think about it, actors. calling it now. Other than like very like big roles, like maybe like Tom Hanks's Forrest Gump. Like, Robert Pattinson in Good Time is, like, my favorite character. Of all time? One of them, yes. Very recency bias. Give it some time. No, yeah. very, very, great. very unique-wise. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's also, like, I mean, like I said, there's Tom Hanks is, Tom Hanks is fucking Forrest Gump. Like, it's un- that's an unbelievable role. I fucking liked that a lot. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I can't think of a more unique character. Tom Hanks from, like... 1980 to like 1992 has one of the most incredible runs as an actor of all time. Yeah. It's like he he has um he has like Forrest Gump, Philadelphia, Castaway. Cast Cat not Castaway's 2000, so a little bit before that. He has fucking the Apollo 12 movie. He So like he wins two Oscars in that time span. Time span. He like the Green Mile, he has some of the greatest movies of all time. All in like a ten year period, and then if you look back even more, he is like Big, which is like a cultural like great movie. Really? Do you know Big? He's just a big guy, right? <laughs> yeah, he's just Everybody's a big small? man. Everybody no. small? <laughs> no, he's like a kid wins on a uh, wishes on his altar machine. Like I, I wish I was big, and then the next day he's an adult. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's a great movie. But in the in the cover photo, he's really big. No. And everything's small. That's not <laughs> that's not it at all. I think it's sure? him, it's him on the piano. Like the really? it's not not of actual piano. It's like a, a Wait, piano is this on one where it goes dun, 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 and then he slides in with his socks you're and fucking, he's in his underwear? That's Tom. That's, <laughs> that's it. You're right. You know, you were two for two before, and now <laughs> you are just missing. It's like, you know what it was? It's like it's like Giannis Antetokounmpo hitting his first two threes. He's like, oh, I'm hot. I'm just going to keep hitting these. Yeah. And then he proceeds to go zero for five. Yeah, but threes. instead, yeah, think of Giannis like pulling up from like half court range. Because <laughs> I'm just throwing out the Dude, most cash. <laughs> cash. Yep. Tom Hanks and, and, the, Tom and the defense is just so happy. <clears throat> The defenses are way happier when Giannis hits early threes really? because it'll change his game plan. The True. Entire, because, like, where he thrives is in the paint, obviously. Or they just, like, hope that, like, Chris Middleton scores two points in 30 minutes because he's It's okay. Just, we got to win. He, because he's the worst player to ever play basketball. We got to win. That guy's hot fucking garbage. At least, if okay. You put me in, if you put me in the game for 30 fucking minutes, I am scoring more than two points. Probably three points. I'm going to just jack up a fucking cash money. We three. were talking about this last night, but think about our worst player on the Bucks, DJ yes. Wilson. <laughs> it's not a question. Yeah, it's he probably is. DJ Wilson. Right. So he was drafted maybe three years ago. He was our number one draft pick. He was the first. He was a first round draft pick. Yes. That that means you're so good that you beat out hundreds of kids to be picked by an NBA team to play professional yes. basketball. Yeah. So when he plays basketball compared to these other athletes, it looks like he doesn't even know how to hold the ball. He like he looks like he's confused out there. He's like a baby deer. He has yes. no idea how to play the game. Yeah. And it. He's so bad at basketball that it makes me feel like that I can beat him in a basketball game. But he would fuck me up. Isn't that crazy? The level of like... You think that he'd fuck you up? Do you think you could beat DJ Wilson in the yes. one-on-one? Yes. It's... You think that guy could back me down? That kid dominated in high school, right? Yes. Probably dominated in college. Yeah. Probably dominates in every... Gets to the NBA, he's dog shit. Yeah. That's just like the level of he's hot garbage. He's terrible, and I'm better than him. And I could beat him in a one on one today. I'm not even you kidding. You catch me in a Y. I'm not even kidding. I'll if pull you throw, up from if, twenty. Like legitimately, just, just imagine though, like because at that point you you're shooting nine shots. Yeah. Like, 
I'm making more than two points on nine shots. Are you talking about back to Chris Middleton? That guy's so fucking garbage, yeah. dude. I hate him. The constant. He, this, he gets this on Reddit all the time now. There's a Reddit joke. He looks like um, if somebody tried to draw Jay-Z from memory. That's what Chris Middleton looks like. <laughs> I like that. You know what I really like is the guy from 90, 90 Day Fiance. And yeah. People, Big Nick, right? Yeah. Huh? Is that his name? No, Big Nick is the midget that's in. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? Is it Big no, Ted? No, Nick. Big Ed. Big Ed. Yeah. Big Ed. Uh, when he when he wants to turn left, he has to go like this. Yeah, I I like that. Originally, right before uh, Chris Talia got canceled, uh, they they said, "Oh, Big Ed looks like if you bonked Chris <laughs> Talia on the head," and there was like a picture of like somebody like taking a whack-a-mole thing and hitting him on the head and then it's, it's scratched down yeah yeah also a uh, new one that i've been seeing is he looks like all the impractical jokers put together that's pretty good <laughs> and it looks really goofy uh that guy's just one of the ugliest weirdest looking things i've ever seen and i've said it before but when you look him up when he was young he's a handsome looking motherfucker really oh yeah get the fuck out of yeah, here yeah google young baguette Good looking. Anybody who's still listening up to 50 minutes, give it a Google. Give it a Goog. Really? Get yes. The, get out of here. Yeah, look at that. Big Ed. <laughs> Maybe not that one, but that one's not bad. That one's not bad. I wouldn't say handsome. Way better than what he looks like. Yeah. Th- his, his fucking neck is infused into his back where he can't turn his neck. What is that from? He I have no, like a bad I have never I've never watched the show. I don't really know anything about it. Does he talk about it in there? You're asking somebody who has no knowledge on that whatsoever. Huh. That's odd. With the back half of this podcast for the last 10 minutes, should we talk about um what do you think I'm going to say? Basketball? Mm-mm. I'll give you two more Warzone? guesses. One more. Whatever it is, I don't think I want to talk about. The Legend of Korra? Oh no, I don't want to talk I about know. that. Because I have literally zero knowledge on it. Yeah, it's um, the show I'm watching now. I do have a couple things. Okay. I was thinking about it the other day. I was watching this video about bees. Okay. And I thought back to what I said. Episode two. Episode two. Yeah. Uh, about how it, if you were to have a superpower, you'd be bee boy. Yeah, to be able to control the power of bees. And then I think about it. I would attack you. About, you don't think I'd have an exit? You don't think I'd have an antidote? Yeah. Yes. Anti-venom? Uh, I think about how big of a bitch <laughs> that superpower is and yeah. how big of a bitch it makes you. Okay. Because literally, you know that anybody can control bees? <laughs> like, literally, if you just grab, like, a queen bee and put it on your, like, head, you'll just get your whole face covered in, like, bees. So you have and they don't sting all you. bees? Literally. If you hold the queen bee, you just are bee boy. So, don't you think I know that? Being <laughs> bee boy? Being bee boy. You just... Literally, all you are is just a queen bee. And also... Bees aren't hornets. <laughs> like bees, fucking suck. Like, yeah, they, they get one sting and they die. Yeah, which is just like. Also, I don't know if that's true, but I've seen Bee Movie and they say it in that way. That is true. Okay, if, when they sting you, their stinger is like. Do you know how Jerry in- Seinfeld got that movie? Hmm. He goes to the producers and this is the pitch: Bee Movie, and they go, "I love it." Really? That was it. Really? That's literally. And they were like, "Jerry Seinfeld made that movie." Are you joking? And that movie is garbage, right? He's the main character. That movie's garbage? No, it's great. Everybody likes B-Movie. Do they? Yeah. Who doesn't like B-Movie? The only thing that I know about the B-Movie is uh, Lil Dicky going, I even watched a movie about a B. Yeah, everybody likes it. Everybody loves that movie. But he said it in like a demeaning way, like he didn't want to watch it. No, it's good. You actually like that movie? Yeah, I mean, it's not like, it's not a fucking Pixar Is it better than Moana? No. Okay. No, it's not better than most anime movies. Except for like Ants, it's better than Ants. Mm. It's better than fucking... Um, what about Bugs Life? Shark Tales? It's, it's, better, better, it's better than Bugs Life? It's comparable to Bugs Life, I'd say. <laughs> what about other movies? What, what about, about any Story? movie ever? No, Toy Story is the number one movie of all time in terms of animated movies. Really? That or Lion King. Lion King's pretty fucking good. Yeah, I could take either. Not the if second you say, one. If you say Lion Because that second one had Beyonce, and Beyonce fucking <laughs> sucks. That's not Lion King 2. I fucking hate Beyonce, dude. She sucks so bad. Seriously, so bad. (laughs) She's carried by Jay-Z in her entire life. That's true. Yeah. Since birth, since Destiny's Child, Jay-Z's been carrying her fucking bitch ass. What is your favorite... This goes to a... 
I like to do this thing where I tweet something and then it bl- lingers in my mind for a long period of time. What scene do you think of the most in Breaking Bad? Say my name. Is it that? That's one? just the first thing that came to my mind. Mine is the guy taste testing all the sauces. Yeah, I saw your tweet about it. And how did like how he just like dips his entire fingers in there? And then he throws away all the sauces and he just uses ketchup. And he just keeps on dipping the tater tots. Yeah. And he goes ball like he goes balls deep. And then in he them. kills himself in the bathroom. Yeah, then he kills himself in the bathroom. Yeah. And I think about how much I relate to that guy. Why? The killing himself in the bathroom? <laughs> killing myself in the bathroom thing. And also, whenever I eat like ketchup or like dunk my chicken nuggies in mm-hmm. sauce, I always get my fingers in there. Do you? Yeah, I always get That's fucking fingers. gross. <laughs> really? You don't... I feel like you do as well. No, not like that. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. You do. <laughs> do you have anything else you'd like to bring up? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's this kid on TikTok who's very good at impress- um, doing an impression of um, Walter Jr. Okay. Okay, next. Um... Random. I got a war zone uh, second place today. Cool. Thank you. Oh, we can talk about my uh, oh, okay. rise to fame in TFT. Oh, you are at a uh, Diamond Four seventy one LP. Yeah, I um, I'm just playing insanely well. I'm probably the greatest. Did you stream TFT. that game? The sh- the game? No. Why not TFT? I mean, I have. Not, sh- oh, I've streamed yesterday. it. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. I streamed it. Oh, I guess we can go on again uh, to talk about for like the twentieth time while doing this podcast but i'm consistently streaming again <laughs> uh and that will last for a little bit <laughs> until i get some sort of weird i like to imagine the one person yes he is yes yes who made it to this line yeah our biggest fan yeah i uh i've been streaming consistently i i did stream tft once which which right now is probably the game that i'm the best at just stream that one the most yeah i mean it's all right it, it, there's the issue is i guess there's no issue so there is um so i have people that watch my stream which some of them come from the wow community some of them are just friends that i met online they i met them on the wow community and then like became just like better friends in general and then i have my real life friends mm-hmm. that watch so like i have to appease these people like you don't have to appease anybody i mean i don't but i do because like as much as people want to say numbers don't mean anything when I get fucking like, you know, 15 concurrent viewers, my dick is throbbing. When I have three viewers, uh, my dick is as flaccid as a fucking worm. You know what I mean? So like, yes, I don't, I, I don't have to, but I do because like also social interact, like the interactions in stream in general, when I have more people is easier and better in general. And so when I switch up my games, like my real life friends don't want to watch me play World of Warcraft. And even then my, World of Warcraft friends don't even want to watch me play World of Warcraft, like, in general. Okay, great. Because, TFT, then. Uh, TFT is really good. I've been playing Among Us. Among Us is... We haven't talked about that game, I don't think, yet. Uh, it's a game that I really like right now. I think it's very good to stream. Uh, it's a game where uh, you have up to 10 crewmates, or 10 people in the game. Uh, two of them, up to two of them, can be imposters. <laughs> the rest can be inmates or crewmates. Uh, and the imposters try to kill off all the crewmates. And while streaming it, it makes me a lot better at the game because when you're in Discord, if I like just rip somebody's fucking head off like you, if I just kill you in broad mm-hmm. daylight, I'm going to laugh every single time because it's just really funny killing people in that game. Uh, and when I stream, I at least mute myself in between rounds. Yeah. So that never happens. And I'll just like talk to the stream. So Among Us has been my favorite thing to stream. TFT is just like probably my best game and it allows me to do the most. I just think that... People, regardless of how entertaining or talented you are, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, most people want to watch. Um, they want to watch good gameplay. And if TFT is your best gameplay, then why don't you stream that? You might just get like new people who are like, "Oh shit, this guy fucking is doing shit on TFT that I didn't even think about." I also, I mean, in general, I do like streaming it too because because it also gives me in other games. I don't know if, you, like, you watch streams in general no. or, like, think about it. So, like, if I play just Call of Duty, right, and I play that solo, what are you going to, like, talk about? In TFT, at least, there's this nice part about it where it, since it's a strategy play, game. It's a slow-paced gameplay, so you can and, talk to the community. Well, not only that, it's you can also, like, if you have nothing to talk about, you talk through your actions. So, like, I could be like, 
oh, I think that I have to like buy fewer. I, yeah, I, I, I think buy it's just like a perfect. It's, it's a good game to stream. Yes, I, I enjoy streaming it, and it's probably what I'm. Also, it's probably going to be my main. When game you stream. when you stream, uh, what do you put it under the League of Legends tag under TFT? So TFT. it is under a TFT. Yeah, and I can't imagine that specific community is like. Um, it's pretty big. I know it's big, right? But I don't, offline TV made it pretty large. It's not so big that like you'll get you'll get buried under like because Fall Guys right now everybody's yes. streaming Fall Guys. Oh, you, that's what I also wanted to talk about. You would get we, buried we, under we, that. League of Legends even is like pretty big. Yeah, World of Warcraft is a smaller community where like I think good streamers will rise end, to the top. Right, and I feel like TFT is like similar in that vein. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim the Tap Man got his first win. We'll end with this uh, on Fortnite. Oh, I guess congratulations to that Congrats, guy. Tim the Tap Man. Uh, he tried for seven days, didn't get a single win, and would just get very angry throughout it. And it was one of the, my favorite times in streaming history. It was very good. It was very funny. Um, and I think that it's what 2020 needed. Um, but yeah. See you later. Good night. Peace out, my get homies. Good night.